is there a unique role that fructose plays in the development of NAFLD? One hypothesis is that it's not just energy imbalance, which is clearly associated with NAFLD. In other words, you take a person with NAFLD and they lose 20 pounds, their fatty liver is going to get better no matter what. But then the question is, should those people be restricting fructose? Lots of great mechanistic data for why fructose rather than glucose would disproportionately play a role in the development of NAFLD. And I think there's even more compelling evidence for why liquid fructose is potentially playing a greater role. But what I haven't seen yet is a really compelling clinical trial that can demonstrate that independent of weight loss, um, isocaloric substitution of fructose for glucose results in an improvement of um, NAFLD. That said, if I have patients with NAFLD, we're going to tell them not to drink alcohol and not to consume fructose out of you know mild amounts of fruit. So again, we're making a recommendation that is not necessarily one for which we would have incredible evidence, but we're saying, look, even if nothing else, that change in behavior reduces in less caloric intake, which results in weight loss. Ultimately, that's what we care about.